hi, I want to talk about a problem that I actually assigned on a final exam one time, which is uh, this problem, which is all DPDA, which may seem like a mouthful, but it's all DPDA such that they accept everything. And I want to convince you that this is in fact decidable. In fact, it's actually pretty efficient to solve, but that's a problem for a different day. So uh, we commonly prove in theory classes that all sub PDA, not necessarily uh, deterministic, is undecidable. And the reason is, is that it's equivalent to all CFG and we show that all CFG is undecidable. And the way that you do that is you uh, embed the Turing machine into the, or at least the transitions of the Turing machine into the context-free grammar so that it accepts something called reverse accepting computation history. And the grammar will not accept everything if and only if there is a sequence of configurations that cause the Turing machine to accept W. Anyway, well, what we want to show here is that the deterministic version is decidable, whereas the non-deterministic version is undecidable, which is a nice characterization of when it's decidable versus undecidable. So it's actually pretty easy to do. So the idea is that DCFLs are closed under complement. Okay. And we've done several videos on that. It's in the intro theory series on the channel. But the the idea here is, well, the answer of whether uh, L of M is equal to sigma star is equivalent to asking uh, whether that machine, if you complement it, will accept the empty language. So we can equivalently ask uh, if E... DPDA, oops, DPDA is decidable. It's an equivalent problem. And we know that uh, EPDA is decidable because you can just convert that into a context free grammar and we have this idea of uh, productive variables if they um, can actually produce a string at all. And the PDA version certainly can handle the deterministic version, and so we're done. So uh, we can actually, so the idea is because they're closed in the complement, you can formulate the machine for the complement language, which is the empty set here. And so therefore, uh, you can answer it really easily. It would be really interesting to know uh, what problems are undecidable for DPDAs. So there's a very, very, very long proof complicated proof that shows that EQ DPDA is undecided. It is decidable. Sorry, it is decidable. I may do it on the channel at some point, but it's an extremely long, it would be like dozens of videos in order to cover the entire proof, but it's, it is decidable. I wonder if there are any undecidable problems for DPDAs. So hopefully that was interesting. Leave thoughts about all sub DPDA into the comments down below. As always, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Uh, there are many other links in the video description if you want to support the channel further. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.